Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. Believe it or not, behind all this stuff is a backhoe loader. It's, um, let's see, a 20 year old China diesel. It's got a Koika uh, front end loader, a Kelly backhoe on it, and a Shinina or something like that uh, diesel. I bought this new, believe it or not, from these folks um, 20 years ago. Back then I was doing a lot of uh, stock day trading and I was actually pretty good at it and luckily I bought this thing because um, then I wasn't pretty good at it <laughs> and I lost it all, lost everything I didn't spend on this so I was glad to uh, to buy this thing and from all that stock trading and so forth I got something decent to show for it back then 20 years ago this was twelve thousand five hundred dollars delivered once again with the um, front end loader and the Kelly the Kelly backhoe the Kelly backhoe sick um, dig six and a half feet deep um, and I, I guess my thoughts were when I bought this thing even if the tractor in the center disappeared um, between the front end loader and the frame and all that and the uh, the backhoe I could always it, you know I, I could always sell those two components and get out of it but since having it for 20 years it's really helped me out with a lot of stuff so it's a uh, it's been a, a good tractor anyway if you take a quick look at the thermometer on the wall we can see what temperature it is um I put the battery charger on this thing because, God, this thing hasn't been started up in, what is it, March? Probably uh, six, seven, eight months. It's been a long time since this thing has been started. And um, I got one of those um, marine batteries in it. And even though it hasn't been started in quite a long time, you guys could see the battery held, held its charge. The other thing this thing has is one of those um, in the water, um, you know, in the radiator line, uh, water heaters, um, radiator heaters, um, block heaters. Um, what it does is it heats up the water, and that seems to do a pretty good uh, job for me. In addition, this thing also has uh, an air preheat in the intake manifold and um, and and that that warms up the air before I try to start it um, back when this thing was built um, they weren't very good about fit and finish details like when you climb on and off of it there's a million places to like grab your clothing and <laughs> And kind of hang you up so as you're trying to get on and you're trying to swing your leg over the seat or whatever um, once again if you it's like if you touch it anywhere it like grabs a hold of you and it won't let you swing your leg and the next thing you're flailing trying to trying to correct your yourself before you go face over butt so um anyhow so I guess it's just a matter of there's an interlock on the clutch when I kick the clutch in it'll engage the starter but in the meantime like when I do that and hit the horn the horn beeps um, when I do that it, it heats up the uh, grid which makes it a little easier to start too so this thing hasn't been like started in forever so let's get those nice and warm I also have the I still have the charger on it so um, anybody who has a diesel and likes to start a diesel knows that um, batteries really are the big 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 thing the more battery you have the more likely it is that your diesel is gonna start okay I also have this little lever here that I'm going to have to hit with my hand and 
hold it down. So that's the uh, compression release. Now I've just kicked in the clutch. I'm holding that with my leg. I'm going to turn the key, get it spinning. Let it go. That's a, uh, a diesel that's uh, before <laughs> before they had to be clean. I don't know if you, if you really can't can't tell too much. Well, maybe by the light a little bit, you guys can see the smoke. I just filled it up with fresh diesel. Not that I took any of the uh, stale diesel out of it. Um. Anyway, it. Uh, I mean, it'll be fine now. It'll it'll start and run easy from from now for forever. And you guys saw how much trouble I had starting it. What I um what I love about this thing is literally you like put a gallon of fuel in it, and you know you you start digging a ditch or moving things around or whatever you're doing, and you, you know next thing you know the day goes by. And then, you know, you use it the next day, and maybe even a third day, and you say to yourself, you know, I should put fuel in this thing. So you go buy two gallons of diesel, and it only, uh, it only takes a gallon and a half. I mean, it burns. It really burns like no, no fuel. It's really, really efficient. Um, but then, once again, you saw when it start, it was quite the coal burner. Um, somebody asked... And I think they asked about this one. This is uh, my son's toy. Um, he used to have a ninja. Um, but he didn't like driving it. He didn't like being all folded into it like the ninjas require. He wanted something so that, you know, he can sit up and look around. He also wanted something um, where he didn't have to be concerned about shifting and all that. He's not a um, he's not a speed demon. I mean, he's fully motorcycle certified with his license. And once again, he had a ninja first, but he didn't enjoy it, so he got rid of it. I don't I don't even know who made this rig. Is it a Yamaha? I can't even tell. I get it. It's going to be dry the next day, so I don't know who made it. S M X. Somebody asked if I ride the Yamaha S M X. I guess they were talking about this thing. No, I I don't. I don't have. Believe it or not, I don't have a motorcycle license. So I I try to stay off the road. I don't always succeed, but I try to stay off the road. All right. Um. I guess, uh, I guess I'm going to run. I want to thank everybody for dropping by to watch and comment. I enjoy all the subscriptions, the banter back and forth. Um, everyone, please keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. If you enjoyed this video, let me know, and if you didn't, please tell me why. Bye now.